Sweden, Sweden, Sweden. Us men are down in the DM. Down in the, down in the DM. My dog's been nesting in Sweden. Sweden, 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 Sweden. Feel it up with no feeling. Feelings, feelings, feelings. Comments below! Welcome, Copper Fam, to another show. Um, a few comments. Oh, wait. Well, I was just going to go straight into it. Because I've got a flight to catch to fucking Moscow, but I'm Vuj and this is Poet, and this is the show where you leave the comments below. And we talk about football. Last week we spoke about Sane and the World Cup and stuff like that. Now Lunian um, says, um, I was 14 or 15 when I started watching. I'm 20 now. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, when I started filming here, yeah, shit, I was like 20 as well. Because man was sending me clips like 26 of 26 now. On Instagram and how, like, on us on Instagram DMs yeah. of all our early videos, like literally no way. buried cuz. That's fucking jokes. It was amazing. Wow. You still are amazing. It was wild. But yeah, the time does fly by, it's another World Cup, which we'll be talking about. Alex Gertner, Belgium leaves in England out of the World Cup squad. Ha, huh? beat that Germany. That's cute. <laughs> uh, you may have seen on the social media myself, Poet Timsy, rocking some World Cup t shirts from Copa 90, Copa 90. We're looking suave. The t shirts are available, so the link is in the description below if you want to cop one. Br Braniers. Um, but anyway, football. Mm. Two no Costa Rica po, England. Um, ZX weirdly have so much trust in Southgate. This is a fresh start, a new chapter. This year feels special. Smash the group stages, and then we're gonna play either Poland or Colombia or yeah. Japan. I don't know if I've done it in FIFA. And yeah. do you know, I basically I played it on FIFA. We could play Brazil in the semi finals. In the semi, I think they can reach quarters. Do you know how? have a good game, they'll compete against a good side. I think it'll be calm. It's exciting because they are young and I think that's the beauty of it. Well, let's look at Rashford, Ooh. beautiful goal. Um, Welbeck also a nice finish from Deli Ali's cross shot. You know, England dominated the game against Costa Rica. Yeah, Costa Rica looked technically good. This is the side that reached the quarters last, last time. Yeah. Actually went past England, but finished above England in the, in the group stages. Mm -hmm. They think they grew no one in the group stages. No, but look, Rashford or Sterling, who would you start? I'll start Sterling. Sterling, 100%. 100%. You have to start Sterling. He needs to wear the Mattia Kesman socks, the ones that come up to here. And then you can see it. He needs to wear the ankle socks. You know what? Hey, Sterling, I beg you, get this ankle socks out and put, and just, we want to see that tattoo. I want it out there. Like, all I the do time. want Vardy to score, though, and grab his leg and go. And, yeah, that tweet was be right. amazing. We actually had a great game, though. Yeah. Looking good. He looks crazy. So maybe I think, why can't you them. play both of them? Yeah. You can play both of them. So why? There's no rules. Start, start, but there is no rules. Wilshire is a missing link, definitely. Um, England missed a little, a just little, a little, little bit. bit. A little bit. A bit of just forward play in the middle. Just someone that will take the ball and just and dribble run. forward. It feels like the World Cup is here. It's around the corner. I've actually got a flight to catch, so um, Let's go. I'm actually on the way. Pretty much. Um, but we do also have New England films out, um, which is a, which were really actually, I'd say probably, I'd, I'd put, it's tough because we've done some amazing content on Copa 90, mm. but I'd say this is, these two videos are probably the biggest videos Copa 90's done. Mm. The, it's just us, us and, and actually having Ellie Menjum and Kyle Walker and Raheem Sterling all talking about the media and their relationship with the England squad and being very honest. So it was nice to see England fan, England players, that access and that kind of level of And shout out Gareth Southgate, because Gareth Southgate, Southgate is the one that initiated all of that. He done a press day where uh, Mitch was telling me, because Mitch is traveling with the, F, uh, with the squad on for the England FA channel. Basically Southgate said, everyone has to do press. He goes, he doesn't want anyone to go, oh, why do I have to do it? He goes, everyone's doing it. And apparently there was a press day where in which all 23 members of the squad were there. A man could just walk up to them. And I think that is, he's making everyone making involved. Accessible. So shout out Southgate for that. World Cup, World Cup. World Cup! Five days. International five football. Days. It's not five days. Oh my days, I'm Thursdays. fucking pumped. Anyway. World Cup, three days away. But yes, uh, I just wanted to get in quickly and just say we've done this film. Uh, the response has been insane. Basically, yeah, the pre that press that you were talking about was insane. That's it was uh, based on the Super Bowl, where on the Super Bowl you just got to talk to everyone. But now it was amazing. They just were told, open up, be you. That's like, beautiful. No, That's no amazing, yeah. bro. So, That's like, I think the FA are realising we've got to do something. You guys both spoke beautifully in the film. Yeah. Check it out, it's really important. Um, Shout out Gareth Southgate though, because I hear he's very, very yeah. integral with that. That film, do check it out um, on Copper 90. Link in the description below. Thank you very much. See you in Welcome. Moscow, bro. next 30 days, guys, just It's going to be mad, isn't it? Just enjoy it. Yeah. yeah. Just like, remember, we've got to wait another four years, four and a half now, because it's in Christmas, the next one. See you in Yekaterinburg. See you in Yekaterinburg. See you in Moscow. Anyway, um, yeah, that's the England chat. Leave a comment below. Raheem or Sterling. Raheem or Sterling, lol. Rashford or Sterling. We'll move on to Austria against Brazil. Um, Brazil just... Oh mad, my god. It? it was mad, isn't it? Brazil... Alright, read the comment and I'll tell you. Brazil... Oh, dangerous. Just imagine. Game tied at 2-2. Two -two. 
uh, brace for Neymar and a brace for Mitrovic. 90th minute, Neymar back <clears> on top bins from the hat trick to win it for Brazil. And he turns to the cameras and busts out a migraine skank. <laughs> 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 the scenes in the Copa Night office would be insane. Uh, yeah, I, would, please I would even watch celebrate that. myself. Watch the interview of myself and Vuj on Copa Night where we do the migraine skank with Neymar. It's pretty dope, but I can't lie to you. What Neymar done to one of them centre-backs is illegal in 75 countries. Like, it's just bang out of order. And what Brazil just done on a whole, yeah. they took the... I only watched the 16-minute highlights, don't judge me. Their man had two highlights. It was 16 minutes long. And they didn't even look like it was hard work. They were walking past them. Coutinho is taking the living day like this. They are a very ridiculous team. A very ridiculous team. Oh, hopefully I'll be watching them play Serbia. So oh, that's going to be so they're fun. Going to bat you. <laughs> they're so good. We lost to Argentina 6-1 in 2006. Maybe they can top that. I don't think it'll be... Actually, I don't know. Oh, it was 6-0 actually. They beat us. Paulinho scores goals. Um, they have got Coutinho goals, Coutinho can definitely score goals. The only thing that can keep us is if they win their first two games. Then they're calm. And, you, and they don't want to overly go for it. Yeah, but then if they don't want to overly go for it, they're going to play players that are on their bench. No, of course, but it's a World Cup. They're going to go for it. But I mean, not, no, I don't where you're coming from. just not 100% Brazil. Maybe just like, imagine. 94% they, Brazil. They may play two They play two games, they win both of the games. Then there's these fringe players that want to, you know, get in the side as well. It'll be 3-1 Brazil. Their and fringe players are Douglas Costa, Firmino. It's like, oh, you're going to get in sausage and battered because I have no confidence. It's going to be wild. Um, Brazil, I, I'd, I'd want them to win the World Cup, actually. So do I. I want Brazil to win it. Yeah, well, look, guys, uh, Brazil, how good are Brazil? What are you expecting against Serbia? Will Neymar do the migraine skank if he does score? Um, I just hope he does it. Some, if he somehow does it and he just goes like, I would, I would, ha I'd quit. I keep saying I'd, <laughs> I'd retire. What do you do after that though? Where do you go after that? Fuck knows. Uh, there's a new Beats uh, by Dre advert actually, and it features uh, Neymar, uh, as well as Mendy, Ertzel, Evra, which uh, have all been interviewed on Copper Night. You do check them out. Here's a clip from a new advert. There comes a moment in every great life when you learn to turn obstacle into opportunity. That's the beauty of the game. One minute you're a kid no one's heard of. Next minute you're a kid no one saw coming. Sound familiar? Go on, son. Look at you go! The Beats advert are looking, looking spicy. So we move on, though. Uh, Belgium against Egypt, 3-0 for Belgium. Um, and Connor says, this could be the World Cup of dark horses and underdogs. Nigeria, Panama, Iceland, Belgium, Serbia, Chile aren't in it. And a few more have been impressing or shocking bigger teams. Maybe they could fill up the knockout rounds. Yeah, speaking of dark horses, who would be your dark horse? I mean, it's easy to go for Nigeria because they've got a wavy kit. I think we need to look at it properly. Belgium, I reckon. I think it must be Belgium. Because they're are not... They a dark horse, though? I think Belgium are too much of an illustrious team to be a dark horse. I think a dark horse is a team that doesn't if really... If Belgium won the World Cup, they'd go as a dark horse, wouldn't it? You wouldn't say a favourites won it. I don't know. I mean, look, all right, cool. Are Belgium a dark horse? I leave a comment below. Ah, oh, fair enough. Yeah, leave it to the top of that. Um, France against USA, 1-1. One, one. Mm. But uh, Rohan Ka Ka says, um, France have some mad swagger when they play. Mm. Yeah, they do. They're a swaggy team. I think they'll, they'll do well. I don't know. But their group is tight as well, because Peru... Oh, they are bringing the whole country. Like, the goal that they conceded against USA is a massive L. And Lloris is always prone to conceding a stupid goal. Cross comes in, the centre-back basically laid it off to Green. Man scored near post. It's an L. Mbappe looks dangerous though. No, nah, France will be dangerous. fine. Friendlies are weird as hell. All right, so France very drew to, to, to the USA. Um, you know, were they right to leave out like a zit? Are they lacking no, there no. a little bit? I don't think so. Absolutely. I don't think it's a big deal at all. But are, are France lacking experience? And how will they do in their group? Um, leave your comments below. Let us know. Serbia, Bolivia, five one. Um, I watched this. The um, goal was calm. Rick Asko, Mitrovic banging free for Serbia. There's banging goals as well. Like Mitrovic did bits. Mitrovic's goal was sick. Ivanovic, <laughs> fam, the ball was flying. Finally, we went viral on Twitter. It's like it's so nice. That's good. People talk talk about us like when they talk about Djokovic and the football side and the football players. It's nice. That's dope. It's have a nice. Um, um, but could we be the Iceland? I don't think so. I'm I'm, I'm being a pessimist. But I know my national football team, and whenever it comes to the national football team, yeah. it just doesn't go right. I, it just hasn't gone right for but a long time. But you said you can never predict. But you can never predict, so I'm not going to predict. But anyway, look, 
We looked all right. Lajic looked really good. Um, former Man United um, won the kid. But Mitrovic, yeah, he's looking good. Um, he's in form. I just hope we can... I just hope... Bro, I can't... I don't know. We've got... Just get, the knockout, get to the knockout. Just please. get to the... No fam, please, for me. I've been here four years. Do video, chair. I want to go Russia, celebrate. I want to enjoy it. But Costa Rica is going to be a big game for us. That's the one that decides it. Yeah. First game decides it against Costa Rica. Serbia, Costa Rica. I do, do keep watching Copa Night. I'll probably be there with Eli. Um, then Leah, let me know. Can Serbia do it? I'm, I'm shitting myself. Now I feel like whatever in it. But I know during the games, I'm going to be absolutely bricking it. Anyway, cool. Germany, Saudi Arabia, bro. 2-1. Mm. Lad fan says um, he feels like Germany's vulnerable. And the Mexico-Germany game will be an interesting one. It could be a blowout one or one of the best group games at the group stage. I said it before. Mm. I'm going to stick by it. They're not going to make it through the group stages. It's happened before. 2002, France, uh, Spain. Also, most, of, most recently in Brazil. So, and the Germans... Uh, Germans are efficient. The Germans are efficient. They're very efficient. They've always had a, <sighs> they, a good side. Big group, though. They've got Mexico. Ooh. Sweden. Ooh. And what's the other team? Shit. Oh, they'll beat South Korea. Oh, Germans, ah, are going through. Germans are going through. Germans Damn are it. going through. You're I think the Mexico through. game will be a very good one, though. Shout yeah. out Mexico, man. They're, they'll do all right, man. I want them to. I like Mexico, but I, I think the Germans will go through. All right, the Germans will probably go through, but leave your comments below. Germany, will they struggle without Sané? Portugal, Algeria, 3 0 for the Portuguese. They're a weird side, Portugal. Technically, always astute. Won the Euros out of nowhere. I just don't get that. They got Spain, Egypt. They got Spain in their opening game. Who looked very poor against Tunisia. I'm telling you, Tunisia... Is it? They look poor, fam. But the one player that Spain have got, that is our issue. But we all know this. And they beat one, yeah. one, one no. The thing is, they are very... eager. that's my squad. Um, he came off the bench and scored. I can't lie. It was, a, it was a good game as well, but they're, so, they're such a technically beautiful side and there's one man who just doesn't care about nothing. Who's that? Diego Costa. He doesn't, does he? He doesn't give a... Sh like, the reason why I like um, Spain, because if it's not going to go for them, I still trust Diego Costa. Yeah, he's the man. I mean, the short city TV says if Spain wins the World Cup, the hair would be the undisputed keeper in the world. Yeah, he's already the best keeper in the world, though. I don't think there is even a conversation there. Make sure to check out the De Gea video as well on Copa 90. Um, he's already the best keeper in the world. A Spain winning one, though. You say it looks a bit disappointing, you say. It was very disappointing. There was they drew with Switzerland as well, which is a bit weird, because they dominated against Switzerland for the first half an hour, 60 minutes. Well, against Tunisia, Tunisia had an ample amount of opportunities. Though. Really? A man like Ben Yusuf friendly. and his brother. Nah, I see Egypt way. beating them 1-0 with Mohamed Salah. I would, Rounding just, Ramos. Just, Oh, Ramos is out here. That'll be obviously in the in the in the in the next round in the, in the, if they meet in the, t the top sixteen. And if you ah. see Mo Salah's comments, he's not happy with Ramos. Is he not? No, 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 no. No. Only no, no, he no, no, and no. Ramos know if that was meant, and I think it was meant. By Mo Salah's comments, obviously sometimes man have to read it in between the lines. I think Mo Salah's basically saying Ramos done that on purpose. We'll see what happens. Um, Spain, Portugal. Who's going to win that opener? Are you excited for that game? That's probably the, one of the biggest games um, in the in the first match match day. Uh, at the World Cup. I think I just, I'm really biased. I think I just want Brazil or Argentina to win. I really do. It's mad, man. But the World Cup is here, fam. Trust which me. Which is man. so mad. I thought we were going to be excited. I'm gassed. I all watched all the goals from 2014 World I Cup. I used to get yeah, a, was so bad. I used to go and get the DVD. Minutes. I used to get the DVD. Yeah, same here. All the goals, innit? All the goals. After the World Cup. Oh. And that man's got YouTube, so it's just mad. Woolworths. 9.99. Oh, you kids won't know about Woolworth, some of you, or Teletext. All right, our branding this World Cup has been on point. Um, the Copper 90 World Cup guide been. book is out. Do check it out. It's got fancy stuff inside about the World Cup, like information and photos. Um, and it's a really nice cover. I like the design. The Russian flag. Available at all good bookstores. And in the link in the description below, you can actually go and purchase this. So have a nice. Wonderful. Point to the camera and say, What a guy. What a guy to Danny Royce for coming out uh, about his long term silent battle of depression. What a guy to Edwin Miska for scoring a hat trick against South Korea with his last goal being an absolute banger. What a guy to Senor Chitri in his leading goal scorer. What a guy to Alessandro Lucalari, the Palmer legend, got his team for the footy for in football straight back to promote from the Palmer captain's armband. What a guy to Timothy coming clutch and the break, he's just sanity, he's just the breaking of Sanity Jones on the German squad. What a guy to Lois Carriage for leading all the crap above given he's now come out of a concussion from Ramos about two minutes prior to the first goal. What a guy to Vavouche teaching me how to dance. Oh, that's nice. That's amazing. I want to give it to the, to the Indian Don. See, have you seen him? Sunil Chetri. He's apparently like up there with Messi and Ronaldo. Because he's got 1.2 million followers on, Bro, on Twitter. <laughs> he's out here, guys. international game against Kenya. And 9,000 people showed up for him um, to break the record. Um, yeah, he's got a brace. And he's the third time all in goals for our country, only behind Cristiano and Messi. Fam, I'm so ignorant. Bro, Sunil Chetri. I want to... Can someone get me a Sunil Chetri Go to his Twitter account. I want an India kit. 
Go to his thing, Twitter account. The old India kit was hard, the Nike one. If you're not gonna get me an India kit with Chetri on the back, please, I wanna be the biggest football hipster. Well, look, we're, uh, we're gonna point to the camera and give it to Sonal Chetri. What, what a guy. guy. Leave your hashtag what a guy for next week. This week on social, two twos. All right, wonderful, wonderful. See you soon, little baby. Thought Stanley was going to love, <laughs> into Love Island. Shout out Josh Denzel. Yeah, shout out Jamie. We JD. do know him. Uh, I might not know him after the series ends, but. Same here. Shout, shout out, out Josh. Hey, right, Timsy, this is Timsy celebrating his mate going on. Love Island. That Damn. is epic. That now, for that reason Hammer. there, it's, it's sick. It's, it's, a it's, it's now a LBW. LBW. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I was wrong. You for that alone. LBW, when they do tennis. You know tennis and cricket. And he's like... <laughs> <laughs> and it goes bam. And it hits his knee. Bam. And the brother catches LBW. And then the guy, the, 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 line, the linesman in cricket, he's always like... <laughs> and they're like... <laughs> People, pay for this shit. <laughs> anyway, the LBW. Shout out to Josh Denzel, LBW. Love Island would be much better if they put some normal blokes in it. Imagine one of those birds <laughs> having to couple off with 25 stone keep from Sheffield for pressing that I agree. No, honestly, it's the first time I've tuned into a Love Island in my life. First 50, I just said, I, I turned around to my little sister and I said, fuck this shit. <laughs> well, I watched five minutes. I, I, it I, I said, what is this? And then that's a scouse chick. She's like, fucking hell, this boy fucking keep me. You wanna fuck on me? I'm like, <sighs> and then like all the lads are like, I watched it. <laughs> thing, series <laughs> one. Like, series oh, yeah, one I'm is on right. Netflix, yeah. Nah, you know that more comedian character? Yeah. Well, the Essex guy. He is from that idea is taken from the guy Love Island. He's the guy that's like, yeah, I'm just an old lad, you know what I mean? Like, we like it's perfect, we're into each other. I think, I think, I think it's love. Big man, it was 24 hours. How did you get all of this information from this? About it's an L. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Josh. I've changed my mind. The reason why is <laughs> it's, it's, it's an L. All right, cool. Brian Cristante is an AS Roma player. The international midfielder becomes a third <laughs> Liverpool should have done this for Fakir. Sam? A man had an No, interview. how can we not put Liverpool's thing in it? It's an L. There's a video of him wearing the t-shirt and he has an interview. So Fakir was under the impression he was signing for Liverpool, but because of his injuries last season, they tried to lower the feet. And Leon said, sorry, nah, not, not interested. interested. Uh, nobody cares, my G. We've drawn money and it asks you if you want to see your dad. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, they're always like, do you want to see your balance? No. Why would you even ask that? Why don't I be reminded of how broke I am? Yeah. Fucking hell. All right, Especially um, when you, the only time I want to see my withdraw my balance is when I thought I had ten pound in there, and it's like nine pound sixty seven. Nah. I'm like, fuck. And then you got to find a cash where they you withdraw five pound, which is tough. And they charge you three pound those corner shops. Oh. You find one and it charges you three, but it's taking out five. Uh, Twitter's lost the plot, mate. Um, but anyway, look, that is the show over and done with. Um, leave your Love Island comments, how Josh has been doing. Yes, please. We are team Josh Denzel. I want Josh to win. You know what, fuck it. I'm going to be fully embraced in this Love Island shit. For, I'm going to be in Russia streaming Love Island. So this is an exciting time for me. I can't lie to you. I want to see what he does. That. No, I want him to have great highlights. I want him to get shared. I want him to win. I want him to be big. But no matter what, in my eyes, Love Island is a L. But look, leave your comments below. Thursday is the World Cup. How much... Will Russia beat um, Saudi Arabia by? Um, and just in general, man, Serbia, Dark Horses, we'll be out there catching you guys at the World Cup. Next time we see you, we're at the World Cup. Yeah, for real. Poet, we're at the World Cup. We're oh, at geez. the World Cup. Done Again, it. we have done it, made it four years on. Guys, it's the World Cup. It's the World Cup. It is the World Cup. Just end the show. It's the World Cup.